Hello everyone. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, to all, and welcome back to our channel, Career Advice. So today we have come up with a very interesting video, and that too in the very short time. And as we discuss, we are going to come up with the advanced concepts of SAP ISU. So today we will be discussing with the query designer, where. we will show practically how you can merge multiple tables of sap and put it in a nice reporting format in addition to that remember there is another series coming up in this channel which is c programming and this this series is going to be very 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 informational very very knowledgeable and we are going to come up with very 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 i would say lot of programming techniques that going to help you maybe your friend maybe your colleague maybe your son daughter whoever it is right so please do watch out our channel and like subscribe share and do the comment below without wasting time let's start to create a sqvi query the first requirement is knowledge of the tables okay now uh, currently to check the tables we have different different t codes but the t code is sc16 to check any tables so let's consider two three tables which we can connect in sqvi to get a perspective what is exact Uh, report we are looking for right so one of the popular table is ever table which is we call the contract table where you can get all the details about the uh, installation and the contract okay so if i'll click on this you can see we have the company all these fields are here right and we have contract and installation okay you can see we have the installation number we have the contract account number this is one of the table similarly we can go to other tables which has any link so in which table we can get uh, the contract account any table name in which we can get the contract account yeah so this is one of the table which holds the contract account fkk bkp and business partner both are here so contract account and business partner integrated here okay similarly tell me one table which holds the business partner and the name of the person beauty triple o beauty triple zero yeah. so let's pick that table beauty triple zero where you can pass the business partner and you can get the name right last name and first name so current uh, currently we have three tables one is ever table that means the contract is live then we have a table which is linking the contract account to business partner then we have a table called business partner table now we need to no a person's name from its uh, contract right so what we need to do we need to create a query so sqvi is a t code to create the local queries here you can give the name of the query okay so the name of the query let it be uh, customer or business partner okay now click here to create you have to give any details like i am giving the contract i pen contract account i pen bp this is the link for a business partner now 
we are connecting the tables. So we are going with table joins. We have other options, logical database, SAP query, InfoSet. InfoSet is mostly used to uh, for analytical team. Okay, tables for individual thing stuff and table joins to connect the tables. Okay, then we have two modes, basic mode and layout mode. So basic mode, if we'll go, it will take you to a screen where we can insert the tables. Okay, now go here, insert the table. So which one is our first table? Okay, we are coming with ever table. So you can see we have ever table. Connect it. Now, the link from AVA to FKK VKP. So just insert another table, FKK VKP. Execute it. Okay. So you can see there are two links. One is to Vcont, which is your contact account. Other one is business partner. Okay. Or you can check here. I'm just uh, removing the second link because there will be a single primary key, which is link as a foreign key to other table. Okay, so I'm uh, deleting other uh, relations. Okay, so now it is connected through Vcont. Vcont is your contract account. Next is your next table name is Beauty Triple Zero. Okay, once you choose the beauty triple zero, it will again show you a link between the uh, FKK VKP and beauty triple zero, right? So all three tables are now uh, integrated, linked, and we put them into query. So if we'll go back, you can see all three tables here in the data field section. Okay, now we have two options. One is called list. Other one is called selection. Now, whatever you put in the selection, that would be your input. And whatever you put into the list field, that would be your output, right? So the input segment, what you want as the input for this query, right? And you can choose that. So let's put the input should be contact and it should be reflect in your output, okay? Apart from that, we don't need any stuff as input, but if there will be company, code, and division, it will be good for the report, okay? Right, so that would be done here. And one more stuff we can check move out date, whether that contract is live or not. Are you looking for an installation as well? Installation as output and input as well as installation. Okay, then we have two dates here, move in date and move out date. I'll select the move in date and move out date in our report. Okay, so that much from this table. So whatever we are selecting, you can see the field in the list, it is coming here. Second table is contract account and business partner is there. So uh, here are the list field. We need contract account, business partner, both. Okay. And then finally, what we need, we need the business partner name and details. So business partner number is there. Business partner category, which category it is. Then name. So search name. Okay, let's put the search name of the business partner. And then the uh, first name and last name for the business partner. So name one, this is for organization. Let me expand a bit. Pre
prefix. Yeah, first name and last name. So you can see first name and last name. Okay, so this much. Once you did this, save and execute. Save. So there are 10 fields which are in your list field 11. Okay, 12. So 12 fields in your list. So these things need to be uh, come as the output of your report. Now, if you want to put any field up or down, you can do that by choosing that field and by choosing the up arrow or down arrow. Okay, let's put this installation after the contract. So I can move this, move this. Okay, so now contract and installation. Similarly, let's put the division before the uh, comp company code. Now remove this one. Okay, so contract account installation division, move in date, move out date, contract account number. Okay, business partner number. Let's put this business partner number, contract account number after the installation. Okay, then business partner number. You can move two fields also in one go. Okay, now this done. Save this. Execute. When you execute at the selection screen, we have two values, contract and installation, right? So as we discussed, uh, we only pass contract value or installation value. Let's, we are not passing anything. Let's execute this. So it is asking what would be the maximum read value? Let's 100. So you can see in the output, the contract number is one, installation number is two, contract account is 100200, business partner 611650, division EL, company code ENHT, uh, move in date, move out date, uh, category, one means business partner, uh, individual, like it's a individual person. If it was group two or a company three, like that. Uh, search terms, Krishna Mohan and last name and first name. Okay, so are you clear or you have any queries on this? Okay, so one of the major problem with the query is that if there are more tables to connect, right? It is difficult to connect or use these queries, right? Because what will happen if you connect more tables, uh, it need more memory, okay? And to collect all the data and join them and uh, extract the report as expected so that in that case, you need to use the analytical. Analytics means BW, okay, business warehouse, where you can put all the tables and through BI, business intelligence, you can extract all the data, right? <clears throat> so in basic mode, you can uh, sort, list, field, all these details. And if you want to go back into the table to see, so you can click here in data source. Okay, and in data source, when you click on the chain join, it will take you to that section again. So you are here again, right? But don't use more than uh, 10 tables in query. So it is ideal to use five to six tables. If it's more, it will throw errors. Okay, and then you have problem in the reporting. Again, there are other issues like how many data in your tables. So if you have a huge database, like more than 60 lakh consumers in, in the business partner or in every table, so it is difficult to join because each join will create a Cartesian with other tables and which will extract the reports. So that's how 
if less number of tables are there with less number of data, it will work very well. If not, then it will not work as well we expect. Okay. So no queries, nothing. So we can move on again to the next query. <clears throat> 